Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and I was able to get a little shopping done before the holidays. I have a few things to show you here. Hope you enjoy. picked up this patchwork rooster canister. It's a smaller size. Actually, I had the larger size um, a couple years ago and I ended up selling that off. I wish I hadn't. I would have two now. Anyways, it's 2006. It's by Certified International. It's four and a half inch size. Like I said, again, the smallest side they make. It was designed by Susan Winget and um, hard to find in this size. You can see it's in wonderful condition, great colors. I think I paid 75 cents for it and they sell for about $20. I stopped into uh, one of the Catholic thrift stores around here. I get in there every now and then. And as you can see here, there is an empty box of shiny bright ornaments, but I paid 75 cents for it and I got more than just the box. I did put the ornaments out as displays in these three bowls you see right here. The Shiny Bright Company was established in 1937 by Max Eckert, and he had four different factories in the Hoboken area, that's New Jersey. They're the most popular ornaments in the United States in the 1940s and 50s. And what I found out, um, which I found interesting, was that he started to work with the Corning Glass Company to mass produce the ornaments, which he then decorated some of them. As you can see here, they're not, these aren't decorated. Prior to that, um, he had just bought blown glass balls, excuse me, from Germany. And during the war, the Second World War, they had paper caps on them and not the metal ones you see after the war. Stopped by the Promise Thrift Store and they had a huge box of loose ornaments marked four for 99 cents. So I had a lot of fun going through them and I found a few good ones, this one being the best. I was super excited. This is a shiny bright dated to the late 40s, early 50s. Some people refer to it as baby's first Christmas. Some people refer to it as juvenile nursery. Either way, it's in really good condition for its age, as you can see. I'm gonna hang on to this one, but I did notice that they sell for, I'd say an average of $15 in this condition. I've also seen them in blue and in green. And the Shiny Bright Company, as I said before, opened in 1937 and closed in 1962. This was another one of the ornaments I found at the Promise Thrift Store, paid about 25 cents for it. I don't know the name of it, it's not on the cap, but you can see it's vintage and adorable. There's Santa, kind of looks 1950s to me, in really nice shape. There's a little tear, wear and tear here and there, but overall it's really cute and I've never seen one like it. That one is also going up with my Christmas decorations this year picked up this vase. It was made by Wheaton in the bullseye pattern. Wheaton was out of Melville, New Jersey. Company started in 1988. It was a family owned business started by Dr. Theodore Wheaton, um, who happened to be a pharmacist and a businessman. Just happened to start the, this Wheaton glassware company. It was a really nice art deco look and that's because they started producing these in the 1930s. Just have a tiny little smoothed over chip on top. It's a nine inch vase. I'm gonna ask $4 for it. it came in lots of different colors um, besides the red. It came in green, amber, milk glass, and a beautiful aqua opalescence. I found some restaurant wear. I found this really cool Shenango restaurant wear. It's an individual teapot, as you can see. It's in really nice condition. Let's show you the inside. No chips, no cracks, a really nice. I only paid a dollar for it. I think I got this one at, um, there's a thrift store down the road I don't go to very often. I did stop by the other day, glad I did. It is the Woman's Shelter Thrift Store. They sell for about $20 and the back stamp you saw there dates us to the 1920s, 1940s. So it's a really nice older piece. 
found this little cutie at the Goodwill. He actually came in um, what looked like a paint can. It said Bed Bath & Beyond, but I think somebody just threw that in there. I don't think it had anything to do with Bed Bath & Beyond. It's a 2014, you can see right here, made for Godiva chocolates. I would imagine the chocolates went in there. It is a Gund. And he's in wonderful condition. They sell for about $10, but uh, I think I'm gonna just keep them around the house for the holidays. Found this at the Goodwill on Senior Citizen Day, so I paid two fifty dollars for it. It's Anchor Hawking Fire King Oven Glass. It's a loaf pan in the ivory color. It is in what I think is um, unused condition. I don't see a mark or a scratch on it. And I did want to turn it over and show you that logo one more time. You see there that it says Fire King in script. That dates it to the 1950s. If that said Fire King in block letters, it would date it to the 1940s. Like I said, I paid $2.50 for it. I think I'm gonna ask about $12 for it. Found this cute creamer at the Women's Shelter Thrift Store. It's English Pottery, Price Kensington Potteries, and it's hand-painted. The pattern's called Classics. They made a lot of different farm animals. This one happens to be sheep. It's a three-inch creamer in great condition. In 1896, the Price Brothers merged with Kensington Potteries to become the Price Kensington Pottery Company. And this back stamp dates it to 1963. I'm gonna show you the back stamp again because I wanna tell you something about it right here. It's upside down, let me turn it around. You can see right there, it says Made in England. If you find a Price Kensington piece that does not say Made in England, it is likely made after the year 2004. Bought it for a dollar, like I said, they sell for about $15. This piece was a present, or is a present to myself, and it was kind of a serendipitous moment for me because I was in the um, the Catholic thrift store, and there's another thrift store within walking distance to it. It is not a charitable thrift store. I believe it's called Lily Pad Thrift Store. I'm not sure. I usually walk in there just to look around, can never afford anything, and I saw this casserole with the original cradle sitting there in really wonderful condition. I'll show you the lid. This is what makes it all the more special. It does have a little chip on here, smoothed over, but it really doesn't matter to me because like I said, it was a present to myself. It's a princess casserole, that was the name of it. It was a 1960s promo piece. And I think they sell for about $20, $25 with the original cradle. I paid 10 for the whole thing found this at the Christmas section at the Salvation Army and it is a beautiful needlepoint. It says right here 1982 with I guess the woman or person's initial who made it. I still don't understand why people get rid of these what I would consider a family heirloom but I picked it up for $1.99. You can see it's in pretty good condition in the back and it is going to sit up on my top shelf as part of my Christmas decorations. They sell for probably around $20, I would say, is a good average for a piece in this wonderful condition. Found this at the Salvation Army. I believe it's handmade wreath right here, and I thought it would look really cute on the wall as part of my vintage Christmas decorations. I picked this up at the Habitat for Humanity store right here in Melbourne, and I just fell in love with this picture. Actually, I fell in love with it a long time ago because I have the same one. It's a seven and a quarter inch picture. I think it's a 32 ounce. Um, I will make sure that I have that in the listing, the right amount of ounces. And I did find the four glasses. I have so many of these glasses. And if you remember, I think it was last video or video before, I had more roly-poly glasses. That's what these are, roly-polies. And I put them in a lot with the vase. I might switch that out and add the other roly-polies to this to make a really nice set. I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna ask for it. They date between 1950 and 1967. This is a grouping of six nine-inch milk glass vases made by Anchor Hawking, even though they don't say so here. 
They were given to me actually by cameraman sister who got tired of selling fragiles on eBay. And I think I'm gonna ask $15 for the lot. I think they're all in wonderful condition. You can see I decorated my little $6 Christmas tree right here. And all the ornaments um, you see here, I picked up recently, I think I paid 99 cents for all of them, except for these beautiful ones right here, which were given to me by Kevin of Commonwealth Pickers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment. If I don't get back to you and you leave me a comment within the next few days, that's because I'm going on my very first cruise. We'll be back on Saturday. And I did step out yesterday and I found some amazing stuff to show you when we get back. So have a great weekend and we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. some really good uh, video stuff to show you coming right up. That, yeah, I've got something to show you. Uh, something. <laughs> it's wrong there. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. Given to me by Kevin of Commonwealth Pickers. Say. Hey.